Hello unicorns. Do you love cosplay? Do you love Harley Quinn? Do you just want to see if I screw this look up royally? If the answer to any of these questions was yes, then keep watching. Okay, so I've zoomed you in, and um, so if you didn't get it from the intro, I'm going to do a Harley Quinn kind of cosplay look, but it's not going to be an exact duplicate of Harley Quinn's look. It's going to be my interpretation, but we're going to do that today. Um, so a few things. One, I did my regular foundation, contour, blush, and highlighter, and then just powdered down with baby powder. Um, had I thought about this a little bit first, then I probably would have mixed a white medium with my foundation to get a more white toned skin, um, but I didn't, and uh, this look is going to take a while, so I wanted to get a head start, so this is what we're working with. But if you were to recreate this look at home, I would highly recommend using LA Girls White Medium Foundation, mix it, or uh, White Medium um, White Medium, and then mix it with your foundation to kind of create a more white toned skin because she had very very white pale skin so with that being said i'm going to take a little sippy stuff and we'll get started so like i said this is my interpretation it's not an exact recreation of margot robbie's suicide squad look but it is the inspiration is the suicide squad look um, so we'll get started with that for this look i'm going to be using two jeffree star palettes i'm going to be using for the red side, blood sugar, and for the blue side, blue blood. Okay, so let's start with the right side of the face, which is the red side. We'll start with that, and yes, there will be tattoos, but we're going to start with blood sugar. Um, yeah, so let's get started. And again, this is my interpretation. It's not going to be an exact reproduction, but... Let's see where it goes. All right, so the first color I'm going into is Prick, which is this bright red right here. And I'm going to do that all over my eye and a little underneath. And this is going to be the base. And I'm just making sure that I'm saturating my brush. And I will say I love Jeffree Star's formulas. They're very good. They're very pigmented, but they do go on patchy and they require a little bit of work. But I'm doing this all over my lid. I'm going to add contour and, um, you know, depth to it later, but I want to get this color laid down. This is the brightest color and it is going to be the majority of this eye. Let's dress the elephant in the room. Um, I don't know if you can see at this point, but I have this really red irritation in my eye. I have no idea what happened. I woke up with it, and I'm assuming that maybe I got um, a hair in my eye or something while I was sleeping. I just know that I woke up with this irritation. So normally for this look, I'd put in blue contacts, but under the circumstances, not going to. This shouldn't be a very complicated look. Like I said, I started with my full face done because I think the eye look might take a while. If it doesn't, this will be a short video. Again, as you can see, it's a little patchy, so I'm just filling in that patchiness. And take a little bit of this down under my eye. And as you can see, I'm just filling in this space. I'll probably fast forward a lot of this, but we're just going to fill in a lot of this space here. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is just one eye first and then do the blue. So let's start with the red. Cherry Soda, which is the next darkest red. We're going to do this one right here. And we're going to start to contour this a little bit.
And then next we're going to go into my Adams Family palette and I'm going to use the shade Ashes, which is a dark gray, not actually no, I'm going to use Cauldron, which is the black with a little shimmer in it. And I'm just going to use that to add even more contour. So I'm going to take a little under the eye. And then a little into the outer V in the crease. Then I'm going to go back in with the color Cherry Soda and just blend the black out. I don't want the black to look particularly black. I just want the depth. So I'm going to make sure I cover it with a lot of red. Then I'm going to go back in with the color Prick and we're going to blend it all out some more. I want this soft and blended. I really want the bright red to be the primary color. I just want to get some contour. Then removing all the excess color from the brush, I'm just going to go around and blend everything out so it's really soft. Then I'm going to go in with the color Glucose, which is a matte white, and we're going to use that to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to go back in with Prick actually just the brush and no excess product and just soften that and blend it out a little bit more. Just like that. Now I'm going to do basically the same thing on the other side but I'm going to do it with the Blue Blood palette. So let me remove all excess product so I can use the same brushes. And I'm going to go into my Blue Blood palette and we'll figure out what color we're using first. So, the first color I'm going to go into is called Blue Monday. It's a very bright blue and we're going to use the whole, you know, do the same thing that we did with Prick on the left with Blue Monday on the um, sorry, on the right with Blue Monday on the left. And again, I love Jeffree Star's colors. They're very pigmented, but they do, they do seem to go on patchy, so it's going to take a little finessing. Okay. Um... Yeah, so now we're going to go in with the color Power, which is kind of like this dark gray blue. I'm going to use that to create the contour just like I did with Cherry Soda on the right. Okay. Going into my Adams Family palette and the color Cauldron, the black, we're going to do the same thing I did on the right side, on the left. So a little under the eye, and a little in the outer V and into the crease. Okay, then I'm gonna go back into the color Power and blend it out. Okay. Okay. 
Now I'm going back into the color glucose from the blood sugar palette, the white, and we're going to highlight the brow bone on the left side. Just with that matte white. And then I'm just going in with a brush that has no product on it. And I'm just going to soften and kind of blend the white and the, the colors together. So first we're going to do the red, just to kind of blend them together. Removing any excess product, we're going to kind of blend the blue together. With the white. Just like that. Okay, we're not done with the eyes yet. But I'm going to go ahead and do the, the liner and lashes off camera. I'm just going to do a simple black liner uh, with the color cauldron from the Adams Family palette. Cauldron. Simple black, small wing, and I'm going to put on some lashes. And once that's done, we'll be back. Finish the eye look, finish the lips, and then we'll get in costume. Okay. So for a liner, I use the powder cauldron from the Adams Family palette. It's the black with a little bit of glitter. And I just did a small wing, mostly just to hide the lash band for the lashes. I also put some white in my waterline and applied some lush, pointy lashes. But we're not done with the eye look yet. So I'm going to take a little of my Hendayan glitter glue, glitter primer. And we're going to put this under my eyes. So I'm just going to dab it on with my finger. Just going to apply a little to my ring finger on my right hand. And we're going to dab it to the left side. And I'm just going to kind of dab it under the eye. And I'm going to take a little over on the right and just dab it out. I don't want to remove the color, so I'm dabbing and not wiping. And I'm going to want a little bit more down my cheeks. Now, I want to do both colored um, glitter and chunky glitter. I do not have any chunky blue and um, red glitter. So what I'm going to do is first take a little of this pink glitter, which has some chunky shapes in it. I'm going to lay that down first, just a little bit here and there, just to get some of the big chunks. Just a little bit here and there. And then I'm going to go in with my glitter tool and some very fine blue glitter and red glitter and put a little bit over that. If you don't have one of these silicone glitter tools, get you one. They're amazing if you're using loose glitter. And I'm just going to go over it with my finger and kind of blend it out like that. I'm going to wipe off any excess and go in with the red and do the same. And just pat it out. Alright, so finally I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede and it's in the shade 95, which I cannot read the name, but it's in the shade 95. It's an old shade, um, but I like it because it's going to be smearable. And if I have the right lip liner, I would use it.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the outfit and we'll be right back for the final reveal. Stay tuned. So here it is, the finished look. I love the glitter. Um, I even added some tattoos to make it more authentic. The wig, the daddy's little monster shirt. This is it. Um, if you're into cosplay, I think this is a great look. If you're not into cosplay, you're just looking for a Halloween costume, again, great look. If you wanted to see if I was going to screw this look up, you tell me in the comments. Did I? What do you think? I hope that you hit the subscribe bell or subscribe button and the notification bell. I hope you like this video. Please leave me a comment. What do you want to see next? What do you think of this look? Will you try it? Tell me in the comments below. Until next time, unicorns, stay magical. Thank you.